are you down there, James? Oh, I'm calling you from the hospital. What? April Fool's. That's a good one. No, it's Except a terrible. we've been there and done that, so don't scare me like that. That was a terrible one. God. It just kind of got death in my mind, though. My, our, uh, our great old chocolate Labrador retriever had to be put down. He finally t- he got to where he just couldn't move. And when was and this? I finally had to haul him. It was yesterday. And hauled him to the vet. And it turns out he had an enlarged heart. Vet said it was about, they took x-rays, said it was about the size of a basketball. And so there wasn't anything much that could be done. And, well, but he was such a good pup. He that's was, one of those rare occurrences when yeah. you, you have too big of a heart and it can really penalize you. Well, and he did have a big heart. You know, when I'm he was sure a pup, he did. We got him when he was a puppy and he had these great big paws. You know, So I knew he was going to grow up and be big. Yeah. And he was chocolate brown. And I don't know, for some reason I got in mind that you know the the uh, Africa Corps and the the desert dog, right? So mm-hmm. so we named him Rommel. Okay, after, I should hope so after the desert fox, because <laughs> I figure he's going to be a big bruiser of a, a yeah. dog. You know, yeah. he was he was a couch potato, and, and just the friendliest, easygoing old dog you've ever had. It's it's not fair that uh, dogs don't give get to live as long as we do. I I've always felt that. I think. I think yeah, they deserve it. That's true. Jeez. Hey, I've been wanting to ask you, I'm sure... You want to ask me a question? I want to ask you a question. I'm sure that you saw earlier uh, this month that the I don't know, you probably don't watch Jimmy Kimmel, I don't either, but he had President Obama on there. and I they, heard about it. And they got to talking about uh, Area 51 and UFO files. Yeah. And Obama, you know, with his little phony smile, said, well, the aliens won't let it happen. You know, you'd reveal all their secrets. They exercise strict control over us, he says, you know, with this cat-eating grin. And then uh, Kimmel tries to, you know, lighten up the whole thing even more and say, well, you know, President Kent, uh, Clinton said he checked on that and found there was nothing there. No, President Clinton didn't find anything out. He sent Webb Hubble over to find out, and he said, go home, Webb. He couldn't get to the information. That's right. Okay, but Kimmel said, well, Clinton tried to get to that, and he said there was nothing there, and and Obama says, that's what we're instructed to say. And I don't know, know, is it just me, or uh, is, you know, the, the... the easiest way to lie and the easiest way to cover up something is to tell the make, truth. Is to tell the truth or make fun of it. Yeah, yeah. With a grin, you know. That's right, of With course. A grin. And, and that guy's the master of the uh, the grin. Yeah. The smirk. Now, the thing is, uh, let's keep in mind, let, let's just, you know, if that was just one comedian at a late night show and the president and who's joking around you know then okay I, i'd be i'd be perfectly willing and able to write that off as just you was know, that was that subject jim the the build subject that they were supposed to talk about that night that was the bill no 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 they, they started off talking about uh no, i didn't watch the whole thing but as i understand it they I started off making jokes about uh uh-huh. hillary clinton's uh-huh. email account or something and, and, uh, tough, tough, uh, tough, tough said, terror. Can you give me your new email address? And he said, no, she wouldn't want that or something. But yeah, it, but when you talk about when he starts saying he gets that little sly grin, and it's not like Obama wouldn't lie about something, right? I mean, he's been caught, what, umpteen times uh, miss Too many. things. Too many. And uh, and then you have to you, you figure out, if you'll remember, uh, John Podesta. I was briefed by Dr. Stephen Greer. Right. Yeah, Greer, Greer's been at it a long time. Yeah, right. and Podesta, who was uh, a senior advisor to Obama on energy policy, said he tried to find out about uh, UFO propulsion systems and said uh, he he couldn't get there. And a lot of people saw this as evidence that there are powerful government corporate forces enforcing USO secrecy. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we know that. And, of course, uh, the thing is, uh, you also re- might remember the uh, Russian Prime Minister uh, uh, Medvedev Med- in 2012. Medvedev, yeah. yeah. Said, uh, the yes, Russian presidents are secretly briefed on extraterrestrials living amongst us. 
course. And that they have a special secret agency set up to monitor alien activities. And then, then of course, I might remind your audience that Paul Hellyer, a, a former uh, defense minister for Canada. Secretary of Defense. Yeah, ha- has said that there are extraterrestrials that secretly live on U.S. military facilities at Nellis and probably other places. Yeah. And then, and then of course, let's, let's not forget uh, Dr. Uh, Edgar Mitchell. The sixteenth, uh, uh, the sixth man to walk sixth on the man. moon, yep. and uh, he he has stated publicly that we have uh, uh, alien technology that we've been using that was gleaned from uh, UFO propulsion systems. Yeah, I'm glad Ed uh, Ed's coming forward and, and telling the truth. It's, so it's, my it's point like, here is is that you've got these credible people that oh, are in positions of knowledge. Who are saying, yeah, they're here, and they're, they're controlling things. You know? Of course they're here. Yeah, I don't know if you've interviewed Karen Hughes, uh, uh, with, uh, who f- f- for many years was with the World Bank, and she says at the top of the power structure are extraterrestrial, non-human. Well, it wouldn't surprise me to be above the eyeball on the dollar bill, but there's something up there. Yeah, it's exactly. Not, it's, so, what's, I don't what's know. going I, on I'm here? not trying to get overly serious here, and, and I'm certainly not pulling an April Fool joke but but when you know it's it's like the old joke you know when everybody tells you you don't look well maybe i'll lie down you know and when <laughs> people who know have every reason to know what they're talking about up yeah. to and including the united states even if he is with a smirk on his face yeah. when they say yeah aliens here yeah aliens are in control yes we have yeah. alien technology i think it's time that people quit uh, of uh snickering about the subject yeah here's uh here's uh kimmel so this is something I feel like th- if I was the president, and it's unlikely that that is ever going to happen. You never know. <laughs> if, if I was the president, it was unlikely that I was going to be president. <laughs> the moment now, see, that I got to stop it there. It was unlikely I was going. He knew damn well fifteen years, sixteen years ago, he was going to be president. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Uh, the Russians knew it. <laughs> uh, of course, I was inaugurated. My hand would, would just, it'd still be hot from touching the Bible, and I would <laughs> immediately race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs, <laughs> and, and I'd go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? <laughs> that's why you will not be president. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a very truthful statement. That's a very truthful statement, and the guy has gotten to be much quicker on his toes over the years. That was a good line. I hate to give it to him, but... Well, in fact, that, you know, that's another point before you go on, is that it's well known that uh, oh, Barack Obama uh, has difficulty um, uh, coming up and with remarks on his own. He's always needed yeah. that teleprompter. Yeah. And since this is a nationwide program, I just can't bring myself to believe that but he's that actually wouldn't... sitting there quipping off the top of his well, head. If he I has... think this was carefully scripted ahead he's, of time. He's, able to, he's uh, able to pull it off better than he used to be able right. to. Yeah. But I think you're... you're uh, but they don't script- want to take any chances uh, mm-hmm. at that level. So you're, that's what I've always said, too, and I agree with you. And I think <laughs> some very smart people crafted these answers so that it would be like a joking thing, but they knew there was a lot of public interest in yep. this topic, yep. and so they crafted this so that he could actually, well, like I said, you know, the easiest way to tell a lie is to tell the truth. Well, we got to go back to Webb Hubble and, yep. and Billy Clinton, and that, yep. that takes, he sent Webb Hubble over to, to, to the Pentagon or wherever to find Just out. Back to the uh, Justice Department. The he OJ. named him an Associate Attorney General of the United States. Gave him, gave him some standing and yep. sent him over there. He Couldn't said, I'm sending, uh, he said, Webb, I'm sending you over there. I want you to find out two things for me. I want to find out who killed Kennedy, and I want to find out what's the truth about UFOs. And uh, Hubble, uh, in his book, his memoirs, said he was troubled because he could not get to the information. Well, he certainly didn't ask him who was the real father of Chelsea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They kind of knew that. Uh, in case you folks don't know, it, it was Webb Hubble. Look at pictures of Webb Hubble and, and Chelsea Clinton when she was, before she had her uh, facial surgery, and you'll see this amazing likeness. All right, here Are we you go. going to finish the interview? I'm going to go back. Interesting what he yeah. says. Yeah, I'll go back. Here we go. 
that's the, that's the first thing that you would do. Um, <laughs> the the aliens won't let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> they, 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 they exercise strict control over us. Now, you know, there are a lot of people that are going to examine your, your facial expressions here. Um, every now, that's a very astute thing for Kimmel to say. Uh-huh. And I think, he was, I think he realizes that he's being fed, uh, you know, yeah, he was set up. lines. Yep, I think he realizes he was being set up. I'm going to back this up just a little bit because I, I, that, of all the late night hosts now, since Craig Ferguson is gone, Kimmel is, uh, is, is the best. The closest. The closest. The best. <laughs> yeah, the, the closest to being the best. Okay. Uh, Craig Ferguson, seriously though, uh, in a class by himself, wherever that is, he'll well, be back. Well, you know, and he'll I'm sure that Kimmel was watching himself closely because you're not going to have the President of the United States on any program where somebody oh, no might chance. ask him a hardball question. No chance. No, all right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this to requeue, and uh, I'll let it back up a little bit. Yeah, go, go back there because he said, yeah, that's another mm-hmm. thing. All he had to, when he makes his little jokes, and he said, no, they won't let us do that or something. Those little, they, they exercise. They're in total control. They actually, yeah, they exercise total control. See, those are the things that you want you listen to. And then Kimmel caught that, and he yeah. pointed that out. And I thought that was very adept on his mm. part. Race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs. <laughs> and, and I go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? <laughs> that's why you will not be president. <laughs> The aliens won't let it happen. <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> they, 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 they exercise strict control over us. Now, you know, there are a lot of people that are going to examine your, your facial expressions here, um, every, every twitch, everything, oh, no. and say, and of course, so did you look? Did you see? Did you... <laughs> Explore. I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, really? Because President Clinton said he did go right in and he did check and there was nothing. Well, you know, that's that's what we're instructed to say. <laughs> All right. I am well, okay. straight talk from the yeah, president. There you go. But with a ha ha ha, so they're counting on nobody believing it because of 50 years, 70 years of of the snicker factor on the mass media every time they even mention the subject. When he said they're in strict control, I I didn't see any real effort to be funny about it. He was saying, no. I think in he fact, was saying I think something. You, that's what I say, he went a little too far when, when he says uh, uh, they won't let us say that, you know. Okay, that 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 smile, laughed, that smile. Had that, they're in strict control. The smile after he said that was not the goofy smile he was using before. Okay. It was a little different. Yeah. Here, we'll play it again. Everything oh, no. and say, and of course, so did you look? Did you see? Did you <laughs> explore? I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, really? Because President Clinton said he did go right in and he did check and there was nothing. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're instructed to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me, let me add something again. Again, if this was all done in the vacuum, if this was just Obama and just Jimmy Kimmel in that one time on a late night comedy talk show, I, I'd be saying, "Okay, they're just bantering," you know, blah blah. Uh-huh. But, let me, but let me tell you, uh, I interviewed a guy named Bill Holden. I remember his name because because it was not the old act, uh, Hollywood yeah. actor Bill Holden. It was another Bill Holden. Yeah. He was a loadmaster for Air Force One. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in the summer of 1963, uh, he was flew uh, part of the crew that flew Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, to Europe, uh, where he traveled over there, and he made his famous "Ich bin ein Berliner" speech. Okay, yeah. and while they were over there, Holden tells me that the European media had a little UFO flap going on. Somebody had seen something, and they were carrying it in the newspapers. And uh, he said that Kennedy was actually, among all the presidents, all these hot shots, was actually a very approachable guy, you know. And I've, that's been recorded in many other places, too. Mm-hmm. So he said they're on Air Force One. And so he just kind of went up to Kennedy and said, Mr. President, he says, you know, what do you think about this UFO issue? And that's what he asked. He said, what do you think about this UFO thing? And he said, Kennedy said, quote, 
I would like to tell the public about the alien situation, but my hands are tied. Now, oh, that's that a hell of a quote. Isn't that I have it? not heard that. That's fascinating, and that te- uh, that tells me. I think all you'll I find that in my book, yeah. Alien Agenda, which came yeah. out in the nineties. But well, you know, nobody uh, reads anymore. <laughs> my memory train isn't that long. That's uh, isn't that's that a great a, quote? That's a classic quote, and, and particularly it, when yeah. nobody said anything about aliens, they simply asked him about UFOs. And he said... Uh, he just said it. He just told us the answer. And I'm telling you, when I look at Obama here for the third time, and he said, they don't allow us to... Whatever he said, they don't allow yeah, us to talk I'm about that. I'm not allowed to say that or something like He that. was not joking. Mm-mm. 